Today I would like to talk with you about how to choose the right mountaineering group. Hello, my name is Harald Fichtinger and I'm a professional mountain guide. With a big variety on the market, it's not so easy to decide for one shoe because it's many, many facilities and it's many, many uh, different kinds of shoes on the market. Some of these shoes might maybe better work on gentle slopes or on easy terrain and the other ones might work on climbing terrain or on good marked trails or some might uh, really work on technical terrain and so it's difficult to take the right decision to find the perfect mountain shoe. So now let's see which um, shoes we would have available. So if you have to if you have decided to go to the mountains and being a mountaineer, then probably the best choice for you would be a mountaineering boot. Mountaineering boots like these ones are defined by having a quite stiff sole, then having a sole with good friction, probably good with the climbing part on it, then with a kind of very simple design, lightweighted and waterproof. Also, there should be the option to fix some um, crampons, different kind of crampons. I will tell about it later. And it should be quite lightweighted because you will wear it the whole day uh, in the mountains on your hard activities. So the next category I want to talk with you about is the approach shoes. Approach shoes are quite a difficult um, shoes to describe because they should offer a quite big variety. When do I need approach shoes? Uh, a good example are the Dolomites. For example, I'm getting out of the car and then I have to run one and a half hours to my rock face, which I want to climb. And therefore I need a solid but light shoe because afterwards I have to put it in my backpack. It should be good on walking in the morning where it's sometimes wet, so it should be waterproof. Then it should be good on getting to the climb where I can scramble in between loose rocks and maybe the first two pitches I can climb on easy terrain with this shoe. So it has to offer a sole with good friction, but still be stable enough to walk in the morning. It should be not too stiff because otherwise the walking gets too exhausting for me and it should be waterproof so that I don't get wet in the morning. Normally all the approach shoes have a low cut but there are also some available with a maximum mid-cut version. It should be quite lightweighted. This we make with really super light material with a thin Gore-Tex layer to make it waterproof and a soft but still stable enough sole. So if you want to enjoy uh, the beauty of the mountains without risking your life on a difficult climb, uh, then probably the hiking shoe would be the best option for you. Imagine you can hike around the Precime di Lavaredo, for example, spending the whole day in the beauty of the mountains, then you should opt for one of these shoes. The first and most important thing is that it's comfortable, because imagine you wear it the whole day and you don't want to hurt your feet, so then it should be really comfortable. So you maybe should try different models and then find the right size and the right wideness for you. Normally, they are defined by a bit wider last, that makes them a bit more comfortable. And almost all of the hiking shoes are waterproof, because sometimes you can get in a short shower, in a thunderstorm, and then you need a shoe which protects you from wetness. Then they should be not too stiff, because you walk the whole day with these shoes, and they are defined, normally they are at least medium cut or even high cut to protect your ankles. The more and more you are used to running around in this kind of terrain, then sometimes you can opt for a low cut shoe, but I would recommend you to use a at least mid cut shoe. The lightness compared to the mountaineering boots before is not such an important thing, because imagine the lighter a shoe is, the less durable the shoe is. So and if you want to have fun with this shoe for the next five, six years, then you should probably opt for a better quality leather outside um, and a rubber protection around the toe, so then you can enjoy the shoe for the next five years. So the last category I want to talk about with you is the backpacking part. Backpacking 
is almost similar to hiking, but uh, it means that it takes longer days. For example, you make a multi-day trip, walking for one week or even two weeks to different kind of terrains, to different weather situations, and all these um, kind of things, the shoe has to stand. So it means, similar to the hiking category, it has to have a quite soft sole with a super suspension, a thick sole, um, where you can, because sometimes you will carry a heavy backpack and that makes it a lot easier for you and a lot com more comfortable for you to walk in. Then it should be waterproof and breathable because you will find some different kind of weather situations during your long day trip. And it should be, should be quite rigid. So normally we use full grain leather on it to make it solid and durable for a long time. They are produced in at least mid-cut or even high-cut to protect your ankles. Even after five, six days of walking, maybe you get a bit tired and then you have the perfect protection. The sole should be a bit more rigid so that you can walk through snow, you can walk on roads and you can walk on wet grass. So if you are a backpacker, then you should decide for one of these kind of shoes. So as you can see, there is a quite big variety of mountain shoes. I hope my information helped you to take your decisions. And if you want to know more, just keep following us on our channel. Ciao.